Welcome back to Prosper and Create Real Wealth. Today, we're diving into an essential part of the financial journey, growing your net worth. This is more than just amassing wealth. It's about being smart with your money and making decisions that'll serve you well in the long run. It's about understanding the difference between merely having money and truly being wealthy. So buckle up as we explore the ins and outs of building your wealth intelligently. Stay tuned for our top tips on this exciting journey. Firstly, let's clarify what net worth means. Net worth is the sum total of your assets, everything you own of value, minus your liabilities, which are all the debts you owe. It's a snapshot of your financial health at a given moment. But hold up, there's a common misconception that a higher net worth equals more cash in the bank. That's not always true. Your net worth includes all assets, Maybe it's property, stocks, or even a vintage comic book collection. And here's where it gets interesting. Net worth is not the same as income. Income is what you earn, say from your job or your side hustle. It's a flow, not a stock. Your net worth, on the other hand, is a stock, not a flow. It's the reservoir of wealth you've built over time. Remember, your income is what you earn, but net worth is what you keep. Now that we understand net worth, Let's talk about some foundational principles. First off, we can't stress enough the importance of budgeting and living within one's means. This doesn't mean depriving yourself of all life's pleasures, but rather, it's about making smart and conscious decisions about where and how your money is spent. Now, let's turn our attention to a powerful financial concept, compound interest. Albert Einstein once referred to it as the eighth wonder of the world. The idea is simple yet profound. The interest you earn on your investments in turn earns interest. Over time, this creates a snowball effect, allowing your wealth to grow faster and faster. The earlier you start, the more time compound interest has to work its magic. Let's not forget about diversification, a critical component of any robust investment strategy. By spreading your investments across a variety of assets, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate, you reduce the risk of any single investment dragging down your overall portfolio. This way, even if one investment doesn't perform well, others might. Hence, diversification can help smooth out the bumps on your journey to growing your net worth. Remember, the magic of compound interest works best when you start early. Investing is a key component of growing your net worth. But what exactly does investing wisely mean? Well, it starts with understanding the different types of investments available to you. These can range from stocks and bonds to real estate and even commodities. Each has its own set of risks and rewards, and understanding these is crucial for making smart investment decisions. Now let's talk about the balance of risk versus reward. It's a game of weighing potential gains against possible losses. High-risk investments can offer substantial returns but they can also lead to significant losses. On the other hand, low-risk investments might not make you a millionaire overnight, but they provide a steady, reliable source of growth for your net worth. So it's important to have a mix of both in your investment portfolio. But here's the thing, you don't need a mountain of money to start investing. Yes, you heard that right. Even with a small amount of money, you can begin your journey towards financial growth. Start with what you can afford, and as your confidence and understanding of the markets grow, so too can your investments. Remember, the goal of investing is not to get rich quick, but to grow your wealth steadily over time. It's about making your money work for you, turning your hard-earned cash into a wealth-building machine. So take that first step, make that initial investment, and set the wheels of financial growth in motion. Debt can be a big obstacle in growing your net worth. But here's the thing, not all debt is created equal. There's good debt and there's bad debt. Good debt, like a mortgage or student loans, can potentially increase your net worth over time. It's an investment in something that can appreciate in value or generate long-term income. Bad debt, on the other hand, often involves high interest rates and doesn't contribute to your financial growth. This includes credit card debt or payday loans. Managing debt, especially bad debt, is crucial for growing your net worth. It's like pruning a tree, you need to cut off the harmful branches to allow the healthy ones to flourish. One effective strategy is to pay off high interest debts first, often referred to as the avalanche method. This helps you save on interest payments in the long run. Remember, not all debts are bad, but it's crucial to manage them wisely. 
Growing your net worth isn't just about saving and investing, it's also about increasing your income. Now, how can you do that? There are countless ways. You might consider picking up a side hustle, turning a hobby into a paying gig, or even seeking advancement in your current career. The world is your oyster. But remember, increasing your income isn't a one and done deal. It's a continuous journey that involves constant learning and skill development. Today, with the abundance of online courses and resources, you have more opportunities than ever to expand your skill set and increase your value in the marketplace. Now let's talk about those awkward salary negotiations. Yes, they can be uncomfortable, but they're a crucial part of increasing your income. Do your research, know your worth, and don't be afraid to ask for what you deserve. After all, the only person who's going to advocate for you is you. Remember, your earning potential is your most valuable asset. Growing your net worth is a long-term game. It's about making smart decisions today that will pay off in the future. One of the most crucial steps in this journey is setting long-term financial goals. These goals give you direction and keep you focused on where you want to be financially. Retirement planning and savings are key aspects of these long-term goals. It's never too early or too late to start planning for retirement. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. A good rule of thumb is to aim for saving at least 15 to 20% of your income for retirement. Lastly, consider seeking the help of a financial advisor or planner. They can provide expert guidance and help you navigate the complexities of financial planning. They'll work with you to develop a plan tailored to your specific needs and goals. Remember, a solid financial plan is the roadmap to your financial success. Now, let's talk about some common mistakes people make when trying to grow their net worth. One of the biggest mistakes is letting emotions dictate financial decisions. It's easy to get caught up in the hype of a hot stock or to panic when the market takes a downturn. But remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Make decisions based on thorough research and sound financial principles not on the whims of the market or your feelings. Another common pitfall is lifestyle inflation. As income increases, it's tempting to upgrade your lifestyle accordingly. However, this can quickly eat into your net worth. Instead of buying a new car or moving into a bigger house, consider investing that extra income. This way, your money works for you, rather than you working for your money. Remember, avoid these pitfalls and you'll be on your way to financial success. Let's look at some success stories of individuals who have successfully grown their net worth. First, we have Jane. From humble beginnings, Jane became a real estate mogul by starting small and scaling up. She made smart choices, investing in properties with potential and diversifying her portfolio. Jane's story teaches us the power of patience, strategic planning, and the potential of real estate. Next, there's John, a tech guru who started investing in stocks in his early 20s. John's secret? consistent investment and a keen eye for promising startups. His story is a testament to the power of the stock market when approached with research and resilience. Lastly, we have Emily, a single mother who climbed out of debt and built her net worth through budgeting, a side hustle, and smart debt management. Emily's journey reminds us that it's never too late to start and every small step counts. Remember, success leaves clues. Learn from these stories. So we've covered a lot today. From understanding the true essence of net worth to the power of compound interest and diversification. We've explored smart investing, managing debt, increasing income streams, and the importance of long-term financial planning. Remember, financial growth is a journey, not a sprint. Avoid common pitfalls, learn from others, and most importantly, start today. Start taking action today. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment with your own tips or questions about creating a truly wealthy lifestyle.